Hello, infrastructure as code security fans. My name is Steve Jaguer. I am a developer advocate for Bridge Crew, uh, the leaders in infrastructure as code security. You can go check them out at bridgecrew.io. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you something a little bit more about Chekhov. It's an extension that has been added extremely recently, as recently as five minutes ago. I think the pull request was merged into master at fig.io. Fig is an autocomplete extension for terminals and any terminal. I'm using a Mac, I use iTerm2, and it works amazingly. The combination of fig with Chekhov is superb. Now, let me let me show you the problem. Let's get down to it and we can get straight into it at the same time, all right? So what do we hate doing uh, more than anything else? Well, okay, let, let's narrow it down. What do we hate doing when we're on the command line? Using the help. So if I were to type, check off or type check off uh, dash H. Now you can see there's already something doing extensions. That's fig in action. And if you have to do that, you have no other choice, then you get all of the different command line parameters that you could possibly use. And now check off has a lot of features. Um, no shortage. So if we roll up and we can take a look at all the different options that we've got available here. Yeah, there's a lot, right? Trying to keep it all memorized and inline and what depends on what, this this can be hard work. The longer Chekhov will live in its life cycle, the more things and more awesome features we're going to add. Okay, you probably already know that. Now, what is Fig doing? Fig is pretty cool. Let's, let's give you a little bit of history on Fig though, just to get things started, all right? This is Fig, fig.io. If you wanna learn a little bit more about it, install it. Uh, I only installed it uh, uh, like last week and I'm already kind of in love with it. It's very cool. There are a lot of autocomplete tools out there and usually they're very specific. For example, I've got one already installed with kubectl for uh, Kubernetes and it autocompletes as it goes. Excellent, but it only works with kubectl. And installing a whole bunch of different autocompletes that are dependent on the CLI tool that I'm using is like, ugh, right? Only for the ones I really love will I put the effort in. Well, Fig does it for everything, really cool. I started playing with it and suddenly I instantly realized I had to add Chekhov. By the way, if you don't know Chekhov, please do go check it out. It is the infrastructure as code security scanning tool. It scans any infrastructure as code declarative uh, format. Terraform is where it was born out of, but it stands, scans CloudFormation templates, serverless framework, Kubernetes, YAML, the lot. So do go check it out and start using it immediately. It's absolutely free. So. You saw the parameters that I had involved there, right? Here we go. Lots that I can do. Well, let me just show you a little bit of what it does. Now let's clear our screen. And let me just pick anything that I know will be there. Like, oh, ls. Okay, I can ls the source directory. It, you can see it's offering me files and directories. I like that. And there's a little bit of extra help generally on the end, you can see tagged on. So if I just hit enter, I get source and now it's showing me the content of source. Maybe I just wanna list one file, but that's fine. No, I just hit enter. So the reason I did that was just to show you all the different commands that Fig already supports. You can see there's a whole bunch here that are probably familiar to you. The ones that are really useful to me are things like GCP or AWS. If I were to just clear this again and type AWS, I'm immediately offered all the different AWS options I can use. And if you know what I'm talking about, this is complicated. Some people have this stuff mastered, I do not. This is a huge help for such a complicated CLI. Even basic things I mentioned like kubectl, I already had an extension involved for that, but I removed it. So if I type kubectl, I have the most common things available. So I can do get, I can just hit enter. I, I can type pods, it tells me what I want, or pods in small, and then it offers me, okay, well, what can, dash A. So now it's just automatically completing and I love it. So I hit enter, I get all my pods, boom. And it doesn't mess up. My previous one used to kind of screw up. So you can already see how cool this is and what it does and why I decided to create the one for Chekhov. And actually, if I do that, ls source, we can see Chekhov's right there. Now, what does it look like? Well, you can go investigate. They have very good help that teaches you how to create a spec. If you're responsible for a command line tool, I do recommend go check it out. If I switch tabs now over to our TerraGoat, which is a, an intentionally vulnerable Terraform repository that was created by BridgeCrew. And I start to try and use Chekhov. We can see some of the things we can do. If I type Chekhov, 
And right away, I'm given some of the most common options. Help being number one, directory being number two, and that is probably the most common option. I hit enter, space, oh, and I've got the directories, space. I wanna do AWS, great. And I can be done, it just, the little arrow means go, and that means hit enter, so I do. And presto, check off, runs, and I get all the different things that are wrong in that directory, be that secrets or Docker files or misconfigurations in Terraform, it all just comes up. That's pretty cool. And the same thing goes if I just wanna do, say, dash F, short forms. It understands the difference between dash F and dash dash file. And when I click that, I get both directories and files now. So I can, again, just tab all the way down to EC2 and boom, I get all the results for that EC2 instance. Pretty amazing, right? I'll show you one last thing I think, why I really like this, is that it sorts out conflicts in parameters. For example, if I type check off, uh, let's use dash dash var file. This is a custom variable file for Terraform format. So say I just say blah.ts, then it only works with directory. So you can see directory is present. If I roll down and start looking for dash dash file, it's not there. So it, it prevents me from creating things that just can't happen, which I also really like. Now, the last thing I think I'm gonna show you is if I'm using a specific Git branch, so say I use branch, and you can do that within Checkoff. It keeps track of repo IDs and branches, and it stores that if you're using an API key, back up in the platform. So you get all sorts of extra insights using bridgecrew.io in combination with checkoff.io. Let's use that branch space. It automatically taps into all the branches in the Git repo that I've got and offers them to me and say, yeah, I do want the demo one. And fills that in for me. And then it offers me all of the different options I can use after that. So not only is it kind of doing the autocomplete, but it's kind of sorting out any potential issues that I might have within those. And what's great is it, for the most part, I think so far, because I've only been running with this for about an hour, it is clean, it's correct. It seems to figure out what the best things for the best times are. And it is already making everything I do on the command line way faster. So if you are a checkoff user, I, I highly recommend going and grabbing both fig.io and if you're if you're new to both checkoff and fig well i just think you go grab checkoff go grab fig and get started get started using it it's it's awesome i'm really a big fan of it so that's it just a quick update of support uh for autocomplete for checkoff within fig as a terminal autocomplete tool that's the end you just saw my name my name's steve jaguer i work for bridge crew i'm a developer advocate go get checkoff thanks for watching